Hey guys, so I've been asked a fair few times, so I thought I'd make a quick video on this about how to disable your frame cap in Tarkov. This is both for AMD and also NVIDIA users, so follow along. We're also going to talk about some of the benefits and also the drawbacks by actually doing this. Starting off with AMD here today, unfortunately I don't have an AMD card, so we are going to be jumping to a website here, and I'll link this down below if you guys are confused. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is open up your AMD Radeon settings app, and we're going to go to global settings on the left with the little globe icon. All right, so after we're in global settings, you'll be looking for a little drop down tab. Should be the fourth one here that says wait for vertical refresh. And you're going to press the down arrow and we're going to go ahead and make sure that that is set to always off. And then once we've clicked on always off, you just want to apply the settings and then close your AMD settings. So for you AMD boys, if you want to uncap your frames, you actually have to use VSync. What we are doing is so we've turned it off in the control panel like I showed you guys earlier. So now you want to go ahead and turn it on in game. There's a few problems with this, however. First of all, VSync introduces a little bit of input lag. So you may feel this, and it definitely sometimes is apparent for people who are a little bit more sensitive to it. Another problem as well, you're removing the frame cap of your game. That's really good, especially in maps like Factory if you're running above 144 FPS. But some systems with this will not make an actual big difference, and in some cases may cause stuttering. You do also want to go ahead and set a manual cap, whether you're NVIDIA or AMD, inside your control panel. So that when you're in the menus, you're not running in the 300 to 400 FPS. What this will do is will make your card run hot for no reason. This will also cause you to use more power. And it's generally just wasteful to have 400 frames in the menu. So setting it to something like 300 or 260, depending on your refresh rate of your monitor, is a really good idea. For the NVIDIA boys, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, you want to right click on your desktop and then open NVIDIA control panel. We're going to go ahead inside our control panel. And we've talked about this in a couple other videos. If you guys haven't seen those videos, I'll link them up in the corner here. All right, so after we're in control panel on the left hand side, we have manage 3D settings. And then we're going to click on that and we're going to have two options, global settings and program settings. We're going to go into program settings and then we're going to go escape from Tarkov here. It should be in our drop down list. If it's not, you can press the down arrow while it's launched in the background and try and find it here. If it's still not popping up, you might need to actually manually add it by pressing add and then looking for it in here. If you still can't find the program, I want you to type in BSG into your search bar. And then you want to go ahead and right click on the launcher here and go open file location find your launcher and then do it again right click open file location and then usually just go back one folder from there and you can find your battle state games uh folder then we're gonna click on battle state games folder and we're gonna go to eft and that is generally where our escape from tarkov.exe is actually located there are plenty of different settings you can play around with in another video that i've talked about them but for the sake of an analogy here today i reset them to default I'm going to be scrolling down until I find one here called Vertical Sync. And you want to make sure this is set. Instead of use the 3D application setting, it's set to off. And as soon as we're done that, we just want to apply in the bottom right corner and then close our control panel. When you are a NVIDIA user and you have Reflex, which means you have a graphics card which is 900 series and up, what you want to be clicking on here is VSync at the very top. You want to make sure this is off before you go ahead and turn on your NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. Once you've turned that off, I generally drag both of these sliders to max, and then I go to Low Latency, and I go ahead and put it on. Now, I'm not a big believer in On and Boost. I believe that On and Boost only really helps people who are in a really serious CPU bottleneck. But a lot of the time, turning this on Boost will not actually help you. All it does is cause your graphics card to ramp up clocks, to try and take some of the load away from the CPU when it needs to offload. Now for me personally with a 3090, On and Boost actually makes my system run worse. So this is something that you need to test out for yourself. If you've done it in this order by making sure VSync is off and then turning on your reflex to on, not On and Boost, then applying your settings, then you will actually no longer have a frame cap as well as the fact for you NVIDIA boys out there, this is a good way to remove the frame cap without actually adding extra input lag. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions about today's video or you're still confused, feel free to jump by the Discord, guys. The link for that will be featured in the description down below, as well as a link to my Twitch if you want to ask me anything about what you saw here today. As always, I have a bunch of really huge videos lined up for you guys, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those. Thank you for watching to the very end, and as always... We'll see you in the next one.